A fireworks bust before the 4th of July. Denver police release video of the raid in southwest Denver. Thousands of dollars worth of fireworks confiscated. Andrea Flores is in that neighborhood tonight. And Andrea, you talked with people who say that's a hot spot for buying and selling illegal fireworks. Well, that's certainly right. We talked to residents in the area who say it's easy to get illegal fireworks. One man tells us that he knows thousands of fireworks are being sold on the streets out of the trunks of cars. You actually get better product for half the money. John Hernandez admits buying illegal fireworks isn't uncommon on the streets of southwest Denver. I like fireworks. I like lighting fireworks. I like the illegal fireworks a little bit better because you get a better bang for your buck. Especially when he says drivers are selling them from their back seat. Ask you what you want to buy. You go to the trunk of the car. They have um, several options, better options. This week, Denver police busted a person selling fireworks out of their home. The back room was just loaded with fireworks. Everything from mortars to black cats, uh, Roman candles. Confiscating more than $5,000 in merchandise. Pyro City off Federal and West 54th sells fireworks. This man from Kentucky shows how easy it is to buy illegal ones as long as you have an out-of-state license. I want something that's obviously going to make the boys, that's going to explode, make them smile. Yeah, just check their paperwork and their ID and make sure everything's good. While Hernandez understands that lighting fireworks comes with a risk. Is it dangerous? Yes. A lot of these people are putting them in the hands of children. Once it leaves the cone, it's from there, it's out of your hands. With 4th of July around the corner. If it's there, people's going to use it. He says the city needs to find a solution. They got to figure out the laws a little bit better. Now, we do want to mention it is illegal to set off fireworks within the city and county of Denver. For the rules in your area, the best idea is to check in with your local law enforcement agency. Reporting live from Denver, Andrea Flores, CBS 4 News.